Hey, I just want to make a quick video um, about customer service. And part of this is, uh, honestly, part of this is probably me just bragging, but um, I'm amazed at how companies have forgotten how important customer service is and how important the onboarding experience is. There seems to be an acceptance that if you call a company, you're going to have to wait on hold for a long time in order to get any kind of response. And, uh, I guess certain companies that's possible. And I, I suppose at, at a certain, you know, the business analyst in me would say there's a tolerance level that is economically profitable for, let's say a bank, for example, to, uh, you know, you don't want too many customer service agents, uh, because you don't want them sitting there, but at the same time, you know, where's that balance where the customer doesn't wait too long, but, uh, you don't have too many employees for when there's not a balance. And, and, you know, and that is kind of a, an ongoing challenge when you're running these kinds of things. So anyway, uh, we have a website that is uh, transactional. It sells game, uh, in game goods. And, um, it's quite, it's quite popular. Um, we have <clears throat> right now it's eight twenty in the morning. So you can see there's only one order on the website. This is our, this is the way that we process our orders. They basically come up in a chat window. Uh, most of our customers uh, come from Facebook ads. And so they're using Facebook messenger, um, or they're on our website, uh, using chat and our customer service agents have to respond within two minutes. That's our policy. And, and two minutes is on the outside. We really want you to answer, uh, within under 30 seconds. And it's important for us that, that you are clearly not a bot. Um, because again, usually when you get a quick reply, it's because you have a bot, but you'll quickly figure out that it's a bot because nine times out of the 10, they're pretty useless. Um, because if you're calling a company, you're calling them because it's outside of the normal flow, right? In this, in our case, it, it is the normal flow because, um, we recognize how important it is to reassure our customers that yes, this is real. No, it's not a scam. Yes. You will get your goods that you're not, you know, that you're buying. And, and, uh, and so it's very important for us to get back to them within a, a short amount of time so that they don't have time to sit there and wonder. Hmm. Did I just get scammed or something? Like what the hell's going on? Anyway, I say all this uh, here. I'll click into the order just so you can see the, the kind of flow, right? So the customer is, you know, keeping track with where they are and they're going to go back and grab more gold nuggets. And so we, we do have, we have macros that, that let you, you know, as the agent basically speed things up, um, we can, uh, you know, we have all the kind of standard response stuff that, that we're going to need. But again, it's very important that the people that were our customers know that, that they're dealing with a, an individual and not a robot. So we always encourage our customer service ops not to just rely on the macros. The macros are there to help you, uh, but, you know, insert your own personality essentially. And, and uh, because again, I just believe that people feel better when they're being, you know, when they're, they get some attention from a human basically. So I'd like to propose that more companies need to do this. I've recently, I've been, as many of us have been dabbling in crypto and, uh, it just floors me that some of these companies that are processing billions of dollars worth of orders have no, uh, you know, take over a day or in some cases, a couple of days to get back to you. I had a similar experience recently buying a computer for my son that had an issue with it. And when I reached out to the company, it was a full three weeks before I got a response. And you know, I was calling my credit card company and calling the retailer where I bought the, the uh, computer and, and, you know, canceling things and freaking out because I didn't know what was going on. I wasn't getting a response, right? So if you are in a business and guys, crypto desk guys, please 
reach out, man. I'll help you. <laughs> we've got the, we've got the system. We've got the people. Um, but yeah, quick response to your customers when they have questions or, or particularly in fulfilling their order, people forget, like, just because you've got their money already, doesn't mean that the job's over. Right now, the hard part starts. Now you got to keep them as a customer. You got to delight them as a customer. They have to go off afterwards and tell all their friends about what an awesome experience it was. Otherwise, what was the point? Right? We just paid a third of our sale typically to Facebook to get that customer in the first place. So you know, I don't want that customer to leave with anything but delight. Right? So yeah, my my video for the day is uh really look at your processes and and look at whether you know scripted auto response and bots and things like that is the best option because i would submit that uh, a human at the end of the line makes people uh, and a responsive one let's let's make that cuz sitting on hold for 45 minutes before you talk to that human is, is not an acceptable, um, alternative basically, but yeah, put the money into customer service, man, the, it'll make a huge difference to your business. At least a third of our business comes from referrals from other customers. So that's a third of that order that I don't have to pay to Facebook, which typically I give as a discount to the person who referred them. But, uh, that's, that's again, I mean, that's just viral growth engines, right? The point of this though is, is really, you know, are your customers waiting for more than two minutes to get a response from you? Um, and if they are, I would suggest that you might want to look at that as a, uh, not as an expense center, but as a profit center of your business. As always hit subscribe, hit like, tell a friend. And, uh, if you disagree, let me know in the comments below. I'm, uh, I'm open to uh, healthy debate.